I'm Lloyd with the Food Connector. My guest today is Glenn Cybulski. Chef Glenn has over 40 years of restaurant experience and has owned 38 restaurants. He's consulted on over 1,200 restaurant concepts nationally and internationally and been recognized with uh, over 100 culinary awards. Thank you for joining me today, Glenn. Hey, great, Lloyd. Yeah. Anytime. So um, in your consulting work, I imagine you work with clients at many different phases. It could be at the level of an idea for a concept to maybe it's up and running or about to open and you're just helping them fine tune a menu. So starting and operating a restaurant, it's full of choices, right? Could be site selection, layout, equipment, uh, what point of sale software you're going to use, hiring, marketing. And I'm kind of curious, in your experience, what background, other than previously running a restaurant, prepares an owner for success? The funny thing about this is, is, is of course, I started my first restaurant with some background. Um, but fast forward, it wasn't even close to what I really needed to succeed. So I think your question is really timely because there are some key elements that I think are, are super important. Any kind of financial background, whether it's in, in accounting uh, or previous business experience is an absolute, uh, absolute must have. And if you don't have it, then, you know, you should probably find somebody to, to help you with that. Um, any kind of inventory control, whether it's uh, widgets or ingredients for food, that kind of control is really, really important to have uh, the knowledge of that. And, and of course, good management skills. Um, you know, when you go into a restaurant, you can't know everything, which is why it's really important to educate yourself on as much as possible. But I, I would say those are the three, you know, a good financial, strong financial background, understanding your uh, accounts receivable, payable, um, knowledge of inventory control and good management is, is a solid foundation to start with. Right. So let's talk about restaurant supply for a minute. So how should an owner choose a food distributor? Like what's your advice on what they should be looking at as they make that decision? Well, I think the most important thing, first of all, is what kind of ingredients are you looking for, right? So there's specific, uh, a lot of dis distributors that have a lot of different ingredients. Um, you could open a burger joint, a pizza joint, a seafood joint, all those. Mm -hmm. And then there's specialty distributors that, you know, focus on higher quality, maybe, um, or unique ingredients that you may need for your concept, whatever that concept is. So that's the first thing I would look for. What is your concept? What kind of food are you uh, going to prepare? Um, and start with that. Start looking for distributors that carry those kind of products. And are you typically looking at multiple distributors and if so like roughly how many for your average restaurant so for the average restaurant a uh, one distribution partner may be enough uh, it depends again on what your ingredients are and how much you have to diversify your ordering to be able to get to all those ingredients i i will say that that a lot of us fall into this trap and i was in this trap myself you know early on is trying to compare prices because the restaurant game is a, a you know very thin profit margins mm -hmm. very large profit margins if 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 you do everything right um and i will say something that i didn't practice when i was younger and started in the business loyalty uh to your distribution partner is key if they have everything you need um, it is key. Now, that does not mean you don't question prices and understand what those the, those um, ingredients are going for. Um, but I always recommend for you to find a great distributor uh, that services your needs and stick with that distributor. But question as well. Make sure that you're on top of understanding what price increases are coming. Uh, and it's not not a bad idea to always check other distributors' prices, not necessarily move to them, but check them uh, to make sure that that your distribution partner is also staying in line with, with your needs, not only financially, but with the ingredients that they're getting. That's, I think that's great advice. For you know, technology like online ordering portals or reports, 
How important are those to the decision on a distribution partner? As these companies try to move away and try to do everything tech-driven online, mm -hmm. which isn't a bad part, I think there's a great mix. There is nothing more important than having a rep come in, either on a weekly basis or bi-weekly basis. That, that personal relationship is everything. Uh, I, I really believe that that's a, a, a very important part. Now, that can be limited based on all of the online and, and tech that uh, distributors have, which is extremely important as well. Um, you don't have to sit around for an hour with your, with your uh, salesperson, um, but walking in, shaking hands, uh, letting them tell you what specials are coming up, what price changes may be coming up, um, that's always key. So I think there's a very good mix of both of those elements, uh, you know, your tech and your uh, personal relationship with your, your rep from your distributor. Uh, you know, in this world, we, we, we all like to feel like we're important. Um, and I think we all are important. There's no doubt about that. But keep in mind that this is a business and you have a relationship with the distributor first, then the rep. You choose a distributor unless someone says, hey, George from wherever uh, distribution is a great guy called George. Well, that's that's a great way to get in, you know, that kind of a recommendation is a great way to get into a uh, conversation with a distributor. Um, but again, I, I think the focus needs to remain on the quality of the product, the price of the product, um, and the distributor's willingness to work with you uh, and be upfront and honest with all their, their, their pricings and things like that. And in this day, the competitive edge, um, you know, we see these big distributors and everybody thinks, wow, they're just they're, they're raking in money. Well, distribution margins are very, very thin. So, um, and it's very strategic uh, for distributors to, to know how much of what products you're using, uh, because that gives them the ability to make sure they have all your products. So I think that your relationship with your distributor is the most important thing. If you do have more of a personal relationship with your rep and they're going to a new company, there's nothing wrong with, with getting pricing from that company. doesn't mean you have to change, um, but I think that's a very smart thing to do, to be able to understand where you're at. At the very minimum, it could give you some good in, uh, data that you can also uh, take back and, and negotiate if you need to with a, uh, your distributor. That's great. So Glenn, I really appreciate your insights. You know, Your experience in the restaurant industry gives you so much knowledge. And I think someone who's new to the industry can get a lot of value from your advice versus learning through trial and error. So really appreciate your time here. If someone wants to connect with Absolutely. you or learn more about you, what's the best way for them to do that? Well, they could, um, there's a couple of different ways. Um, you can look me up on LinkedIn. Uh, you can hit me on any of my social media channels. My cell phone is 707-774-1668. Um, and I always talk to people first uh, uh, about what their their goal is and what they're trying to achieve. Um, I always take at least 15 minutes, half an hour to see if it's a good fit, if I can help them in in what they're trying to to accomplish. So um, those are the couple of just the ways they can get a hold of me. They can email me. Um, I'm there every year at Pizza Expo. Right. Uh, uh, I am well versed in all American comfort food, Italian, rustic Italian, and pizza. Those are my specialties. So I can talk to anybody about a uh, a breakfast joint or a burger joint uh, just as easy as I can about an Italian restaurant or pizza and things like that. So I'm happy to help if anybody needs any help. Thank you so much, Glenn. Well, thanks, Lloyd.